Any final words before I leave you here? Still without a shirt on. Hey, my number is 401. <laughs> I gotta get out of this place, man. One thing we gotta figure out here is the color profile. It's a slightly different color profile, but we'll figure it out in due time. Welcome again to the vlog. Or maybe this gets played just now and this is your, your first welcoming. So, welcome to the vlog. Happy Monday. Hey, um, first things first today, that bike I'm giving away, if you want it, you gotta let me know by Friday, April 16th. Again, that's from an entrepreneur who wants maybe a little bit of help from me, maybe a little bit of cash from the bike. I'm willing to do that to help you out. You gotta reach out, text me or something. I'm picking someone or I'm not. I don't have to. I don't have to, but I might. So get on that. The other thing, the other thing I would like to talk about today, which I've been putting off for a while, is a little bit of advice. These are the nuggets you can get if you plug in with me on that bike. But now it's been, I think, a month since Dylan and I flew to San Francisco to completely make over Sean Puri's set, to revamp the podcast, to do all the video editing stuff that Smart Nonsense Media is now doing. There's a train going by, so I'm gonna wait. And I completely forgot, but I've been meaning to do it, is to relay the one piece of advice, above all that Sean gave us, Sean Puri, the one piece of advice he gave to someone in their early 20s. Yeah. Okay. In the rat race that so many of us are in to make more money, to upgrade our lifestyle, to get a promotion, a new job, whatever, at 23, that's not the goal. The goal, Sean says, is not to optimize for money, but to optimize for people, the people you work with, your friends, optimizing for time spent with family. So Sean said, spend your early 20s learning and traveling and experiencing different cultures, optimizing for people and friends and family, because if you do that, then in 10 years time, those experiences with cool people will compound in, in ways you could have never imagined. Which gets to his second point. When it comes to success, when it comes to money, when it comes to your network or leverage or what you're doing or building, we're taking score at 30. But think about it. We're not taking score at 24 and a half. Do, do, do now. Learn now. Read now. Compound your skill set now. There is no rush. There's so much time in your 20s to get it right. I hope even just on here you've seen that so much can change in six months or two weeks for that matter. And by that logic, I'm not interested in taking score, be it money or accolades, at 24 and a half years old. I'm interested in taking score in 10 years, at 30 or so. That was Sean Poirier's biggest piece of advice for someone who was 23. Optimize for people and take score at 30. There's no rush. I promise you, there's no rush. Thank you, Sean, for those lessons. Zoom in, how about that?